I would say from 31 till the time I graduated from high school, 37, we had dust storms. They weren't as uh, serious the last few years, but there was a long time that we had dust storms because the wind blows in West Texas or North Texas. Now, where, where, where did you live during this time? I lived in Hansford County in the Norwegian community known as Oslo. And the first people came there in the early 1900s. The land was, as the settlers came in, they uh, bought quarter section, half section, or a section, and then they'd set aside uh, maybe uh, a quarter section or a half section or more for their livestock as grassland and plow the rest of it because in the early days they had horses and the tractors didn't enter the picture till in the middle 20s or something like that. And it was in 1928 that I remember my mother's being really distressed because our neighbor um, across the road adjoining us though, plowed up the grassland to plant more wheat. Commodities were a good price, tractors were available then and everybody was looking to prosper. Well, it was <laughs> uh, in 1929 then there was a bumper crop and wheat was everywhere and the um, uh, trucks, usually there were three trucks uh, allotted for each combine, and there'd be one truck going to town with the load, another one returning, and a third one taking the load from the combine. But the crop was so heavy that year that they piled it on the ground and hauled it in afterwards. Um, to And uh, I remember when my, uh, now this is all a prelude to the, to the Dust Bowl, um, and I remember that 1929 is the year of the crash, as you know. Anyway, my dad came home from selling the wheat uh, that had been hauled in, checked his elevator receipts, and told my mother that it had averaged 29 cents a bushel. Um, of course, that was, <laughs> that was accepted. I mean, it was already done. There was nothing to be uh, uh, thought about. But um, after that, conditions generally deteriorated. We did have rains. I mean, it seemed as though the first part of May, we'd have three or four days of rain, and the, gra uh, the pastures would bloom, and the cactus would be pretty, and, uh, and all that kind of thing. Cows had something to eat. But then, and in September, usually, when school opened, there would also be another period of of rain and the farmers would be encouraged to plant wheat and, and um, before the drought became intense, um, the, the wheat would be grazed uh, or rented to ranchers for cattle grazing. But then as the earth dried out and, and the rains became less frequent, um, it was just dry, and sometimes there wasn't even forage for cattle. There were times when we didn't have milk or our own milk. And it was a, it was a depressing time. And um, people did talk about uh, various storms, though. Some would say, well, that's from Colorado or that's from Dakota, you know, if they knew anything about the soils in those areas. But as I remember it, it was mostly black. <laughs>